Welcome, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to download and use the Exodus wallet. Now, first things first, we have to go to Exodus.com. Now, you can see over here, this is the URL that we're going to be going to, and it should bring you to a homepage like this one. And once you have arrived here, you can view a little bit more information about Exodus and what you can expect through their platform. It'll tell you some of the cryptocurrency listings as well as the different options that you're gonna have open to you as a user of Exodus. So if you wanna learn more, this is gonna be one of your best places to do it. But if you just wanna get straight into downloading Exodus, all we have to do is go to the download button. Now you're gonna have to choose which version you want depending on uh, what kind of system you're using, but I'm just using a Windows, so it's a very straightforward download process. And once you get Exodus actually downloaded, you're gonna see a wallet and a platform similar to this. Now, once you're inside of here, we're gonna have a bunch of different options uh, moving forward. Now, first off, if you have cryptocurrencies in here or you've already deposited cryptocurrencies, this is what it's going to look like. You're gonna be able to see all of your different portfolio uh, as well as where you have allocated everything. Now, if you wanna to come to the overview button, you can do that over here as well, where you can just see an overview of all the different cryptocurrencies that are available, or at least some of the popular ones. You can also see what's happening in the price action, as well as your personal portfolio, where here it's going to be able to show you the percentage of the portfolio that you have allocated to each cryptocurrency. So if you have a $1,000 portfolio and you have $800 in Bitcoin, $100 in Ethereum, and $100 in something like Luna, you'd be able to see over here that you have 80% in Bitcoin, 10% in Ethereum, and then that remaining 10% uh, also in Terra Luna. And so we can also view things like the current valuation of how much you own in Bitcoin. Uh, so it's going to say that if you own one Bitcoin, you're going to have $40,000 in value. Um, and then this is going to be the current price action of that coin that you're looking at as well. So it's a pretty useful wallet where you can really see things broken down in a more dynamic nature. But if you want to get into actually depositing cryptocurrency from wherever it may be into Exodus, all we have to do is head over to the wallet section or rather, and then once this loads, we can see that the, whatever cryptocurrency we really chose here, we can choose to either send it or receive it. Now, if we're choosing to send it, that means that we are taking it off of Exodus and sending it to another place. Now that could be another wallet, that could be a friend, that could be a centralized exchange. There's a number of places that we could send it to, uh, but this means that you are taking it off of uh, the Exodus wallet and sending it somewhere else ultimately. Now, if we want to put money on the Exodus, specifically in this case, Bitcoin, all we would have to do is click on this receive button. Now here it's going to let us either use the QR code or our deposit address. And if we want to use the deposit address, all we have to do is copy this, go to the platform or wallet that we will be sending Bitcoin from and paste this in the withdrawal or the send option. Now here it's going to say, what Bitcoin address would you like to send this to? Again, we're not doing this inside of Exodus because right now we're focused on receiving Bitcoin, but in the native platform or of wherever you are withdrawing or sending that Bitcoin from, this is where you would paste that address because you're gonna be sending it from that address, again, to this Bitcoin address inside of the Exodus wallet. And it works very similarly for all of these other cryptocurrencies as well. If you wanna send Ethereum, you have your send and receive button and so on and so forth. Now, if you wanna see uh, a little bit more about the activity or about Ethereum and different videos and news uh, relating to that cryptocurrency, you can do that inside of Exodus Wallet as well, just by utilizing these buttons down here. And if you ever wanna see a price chart with just a little bit more information for you, you can just click this little price chart do drop down, and that will become available as well. Now, moving on, you can actually exchange cryptocurrencies inside of the Exodus wallet. So when you're going through here, you can see how much of these different assets that you own. And you can say, okay, well, if I want to exchange Bitcoin for something like, we'll just go to uh, Ape. Let's go to Ape token. We can say, okay, well, I'm actually going to exchange one Bitcoin for just Ape token. Now, it's going to show you that in exchange, you're going to get around um 3159 ape tokens for your one bitcoin um 
And then from here, all you have to do is actually make the trade. Now, if you do have uh, the funds in your account, it's gonna just let you make the exchange. It may even say that it has a maximum or a minimum exchange rate that is listed. So if you need to, you can always lower this guy as well. So there's lots of other options. And again, if you wanna, uh, change any of these tokens from one to another we can say I actually want to go from ethereum to eight coin You're also going to be able to do that guy as well. So that's all that it has listed And finally if we want to go to our settings, this is where you're going to be able to find more information uh, About not only what you're currently holding but also about your private information so if you go to security and or personalize you can actually show that there is a way to back up your account and the way that you do this is that you create a password um, and you also just get to um, essentially create an option for yourself so that if you ever do lose access to this computer or this wallet, you have a way to back up your account. And this is something that we highly recommend doing. And don't share this information with anyone because whoever has access to this information is going to have access to all of your cryptocurrency inside of Excess as well. So while it is important to back up your device and making sure that you have a way to get it back should a worst case scenario happen, uh, this is the option that you want to go through. But again, um, keep this information very, very private. If you want to go through anything else in here, you can do that as well. They have a devices option um, where you can actually install the treasure bridge as well as some other applications and assets that you can look through as well. But when it comes to the uh, Exodus wallet, this is the just of it for the most part. Um, it's a pretty straightforward wallet. There's not a million features, but there's just enough in here to really serve its purpose in a pretty solid way. Uh, they are one of the main wallet providers. They're very, very large, very well known and very used. Um, so it's not like they are some no name in the industry that is trying to build up a reputation. They have been around for a while and they're one of the larger uh, mechanical wallets that do exist out there.